Here's a tune you won't hear at the Oscars. This is Bruce Broughton and his theme for the movie, Alone Yet Not Alone. Which is strange, because... The nominees are Alone Yet Not Alone from... That surprise nomination ahead of stars like Coldplay and Taylor Swift has since been revoked. Because, as a veteran member of the Academy that runs the Oscars, when Bruce emailed colleagues about his nomination, he broke the rules on campaigning. I will not be bent in fear. He's he says what he did on behalf of a low-budget Christian film was no different to what the big studios do for their blockbusters in Oscars season. I mean, I feel like somebody threw me under the bus. I realized in this particular case it really isn't an even playing field and that they have some substantial work to do to make it so. Uh, if you're from a large studio, you, there, there are enormous marketing campaigns that go on on behalf of, of everybody. Um, and if you're in a small film, it's unlikely that you're going to get that kind of a charge, that kind of a backwind. His disqualification has drawn attention to just how much campaigning plays a part in the Oscars, from billboards and newspaper ads to junkets and screenings, and just why winning matters so much. It means a lot to filmmakers, it means a lot to producers, it means a lot to studios and distribution companies to have an Oscar nomination, to have an Oscar win, because it has very direct, tangible effect at the box office. So it's all about the bottom line, and the Hollywood power broker credited with inventing modern Oscar campaigning admits it is all marketing. This year, he's pushing Philomena. It's a competition. This year of sexy films like American Hustle and Wolf of Wall Street and Gravity, it's hard to get people to see the smaller movies like 12 Years a Slave or Philomena. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the fight that we face, you know, against, the, you know, bigger movies. So when the winners express all that surprise, remember this is show business. And Bruce Broughton won't be putting an Oscar alongside his ten Emmys. No, no, I won't watch the Oscars. I mean, I'm, I'm a little curious, but no, I won't watch the Oscars. Actually, we're going away uh, that weekend, so um, we plan to, to um, have ourselves busy. You know. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.